Well, good morning. Wendy Wright? Yes. I'm Richard Dawkins. Very, very nice kind of you to do this interview. Yes. Where should we go then? Uh, well, how's this? Okay. So what we find is that philosophies that are built on evolution oftentimes lead to horrendic, horrific abuses against human beings. And you can see why, because it's drawn on a foundation that says human beings are just material and they should be judged according to their, their utilitarian use. What thing can they provide yeah. for society? Okay. We don't believe that. Yes, okay. We believe that each human being, whether they can supply something to society or not, if they are disabled, if they are young, that they should be treated with the same amount of respect as you and I should be treated. Yes, I mean, I, I, I accept all that, and I, and I agree with that. I mean, I also think humans should be treated with respect. But, but what we have here is an agenda. It's that you want humans to be treated with respect, and therefore, if the scientific facts go against what your perception is, then you're going to distort the scientific facts. Now, why don't you instead accept the scientific facts and say that we still want to treat humans with respect? Let's look at evolution and let's see that we can indeed treat humans with because respect. Because what I go back within to, the evolution framework. what I go back to is the evolutionists are still lacking the science to back it up. But in, instead, what happens is science that doesn't bolster the case for evolution gets censored out. Such as there is no evidence of evolution from going from one species to another species. If that, if evolution had occurred, then surely, whether it's going from birds to mammals or, or even beyond that, surely there'd be at least one evidence. A massive amount of evidence. I'm sorry, but you people keep repeating that like a kind of mantra.